Ken Weller here. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today about some of the various printers that we're using here at New Tech uh, Inventors. And um, as you've seen in previous videos, I tend to lean toward the smaller printers for some of the parts that I make. Uh, there are a lot of pros and cons, so I brought out some of the larger printers that I have, which is the um, Arnett ET5, which is a 300 by 300 by 400 um, print size, and another 300, 300 by 400 is uh, this A10, uh, CR10, and um, these printers do print a lot larger uh, area which allows you as you can see I just put these parts on here for demonstration but on this printer I could print 12 of one part and 10 of another part simultaneously as long as they're the same color and require the same type of filament and over here I can print up to nine of these larger parts uh, on this printer. Uh, there are advantages and disadvantages to doing that. Uh, one of the advantages is if everything goes well in a given space you can produce a lot, a large number, large quantity of parts. Uh, that's one of the positive aspects of it. The negatives on trying to do this when you're printing massive quantities of parts, if you have a problem and if your printer crashes um, and you can't recover from it, then you've lost a lot of uh, material and time. Uh, the other thing, when you're printing a larger quantity like this, you're looking at a very long print time. I uh, haven't ever printed this particular layout, but just looking at it, I would say it would probably take um, close to 20 hours to print this. Running a printer for 20 hours with a single roll of filament, uh, that's that's pushing the limit a little bit. You've got to have a lot of confidence in your filament. You've got to have a lot of confidence in your printer. Um, I'm not that confident, so I print uh, smaller quantities on smaller printers that don't take up as much space as these. Um, other than that, I've printed on these printers and I have um, another uh, larger format printer. I'll demonstrate it too. And I'll have a follow-up video on this where I'll actually show some of these, uh, put some print jobs on these printers and uh, show you how they print, the quality and everything, and also the time frame. We'll calculate uh, how long the print job is going to be. So that's a little bit about the uh, ANET ET5 printer here and uh, the CR10. So uh, we'll move along and look at some other printers now. Okay, we're back now with another large printer. This is the largest printer I have, uh, the Tronic C X5SA. It's a 330 by 330 by 400 um, print space a printer. And a few of the things I'll mention about it, I uh, have printed with it. I've printed l some larger parts that I have. Uh, it works great for larger parts. As, again, as I mentioned when we were looking at the ANET um, and the uh, CR10 printers, on these larger format printers, you can print a lot of a lot of parts at one time, but do you want to? Probably not. Um, the printer has to perform 
perfect because this particular these uh, parts here uh, the way they're configured take about six hours each to print so you can see that um, at six hours each you're going to be printing for days that means that uh, the filament spool will have to be capable of handling uh, the number of parts I have here uh, also you have to uh, take into consideration any kind of malfunction that may cause you to have to scrap the job and no one wants to print for 36 or 38 hours or something and then have their printer or something mess up to where they lose all of that time and material. So again, that's one of the, the negative things about these larger format printers. Uh, you, have to, uh, you have to be able to accept that negative and if you're lucky and if you have everything set up right and they run through that process then that's great because you can print a lot more parts in this space than printing the same number of parts with multiple printers um, so that, that's something to consider uh, since I am very confined with space and since space is very important to me I go uh, that's why I'm using a lot of the monoprice uh, Delta printers back here and the uh, King Rune uh, KP3 uh, smaller printers uh, KP3's print 180 by 180 which is plenty of space for printing these parts you can even print multiples of these on that printer. Now another thing I want to mention is that when we're printing and setting up the printers to run I don't want to be here 24-7. I want to be able to leave my printers and come back at certain intervals. So if I'm setting up several printers to run I want them all to start at a given time and then I want them all to run about the same length of time and what you have to do to achieve that is um, let me grab a couple of parts here sometimes you have uh, different size parts and you can mix these parts up and if you want to run 12 hours you can run a six hour and a six hour but if you want to run uh, these two these two parts may combine may take six hours so you could run a combination obviously they'd have to all be the same color if you're um, running these parts so what I try to do I try to combine the print jobs and if I have some parts printing that um, are going to finish up an hour or two before the others, I have some real small parts that I print. I can throw a couple of those on there if they're going to be the same color and the same uh, uh, filament. And they'll kind of fill in that void and they'll eat up some of that time so that all of my printers will be uh, shutting down at about the same time. If you notice it's very quiet in here now. This is the first video I think I've done where I didn't have background noise and the reason for that is that um, I'm at the end of one of those cycles and I'm going to take a, a little break on printing and not print tonight and start up again tomorrow but in the meantime I can take some of these printers and bring them over here and uh, explain a few of the pros and cons that I've found. So that's it uh, again this uh, Tronsky uh, printer is um, 
pretty good printer. It, I really like the way it operates. It's very stable and we'll be showing you some uh, print jobs running on this one in one of the next videos.